When you start working with multiple cameras, recording audio with a audio mixer, you'll have different audio coming in and imported and it will only sound come from the left channel or the right channel, meaning that it will only play through your right speaker or your left speaker. So you'll put on your headphones and you'll start listening to an interview that recorded and it will only be in your left ear. A quick effect and tip that you need to know is this fill left with right and fill right with left effect. So if you go to your effects tab under audio effects or just search for fill, you'll find fill left with right. To apply this to a clip, just select the clip or don't you don't even have to select the clip, just drag and drop this effect onto your clip. What this does is the fill left with right will fill the left channel with what's happening in the right channel. So if you have any interview or audio that's just coming from the right side, then you want to do this one. If you have something coming from the left side, use the fill right with left so that your audio will be coming from both channels now. And make sure that when you're editing, you might want to test it out with headphones. I know sometimes that I in the past and other people have edited their entire project just on their laptop and they don't even realize that the audio is only in the left channel coming from the left speaker until you listen to it in your headphones and you notice that. So be careful about this. The other thing is not just this effect for filling in both channels, but maybe you want something to just be on the left channel or the right channel. And that is actually a cool effect. Say you're editing a video and you have a plane flying by, but it looks like it's coming by on the left side of the screen or it's coming overhead and you want it to feel like it's coming over the left of you, you can change the panning of a clip. So if you select your clip, if you go to effects controls, and if you go to panner, you can pan left or right. You don't have to go all the way, but you can just do left negative 25, which is about 25% to the left compared to right in the middle or all the way to 100. And you can also have this change going from left to right. You see what happens when I add or just change this to negative 25. Up here, we have basically another timeline right here and we can expand it just a little bit. So when I change it to negative 25, what I'm saying is I want from for this entire clip, specifically right here, I want it to be at negative 25 pan to the left. And it creates this keyframe, this little diamond that says that. It's telling the program at this point, I want it to be negative 25. If I go forward in time and I say over here, I want it to be 25, it will make a transition going from negative 25 as we play through this to 25. And that's how you would create the effect where it's a car driving by or a plane going by that sounds like it's going from your left side to your right side. So that's really getting into some advanced editing there. You'll also notice while I'm here, I'm just going to delete these just by selecting them and pressing delete on my keyboard or backspace if you're on a PC. You'll notice that we have this volume control right here, which is another way to adjust the level of your audio if you don't want to do it down here in your timeline. You'll notice though that it already has all of these adjustments that we've made with the pen tool in the last lesson. See all these keyframes right here? These are all those little pen tool adjustments that we made. And you can see here that it's going from negative infinity to zero decibel. That's that transition that we had created. So just another note, if you need to adjust these keyframes, we can select these keyframes and move them around if we want, or just individual ones, or even create new keyframes by either typing in a new number, negative five, or by clicking this add remove keyframe button right there. So much to go through in Adobe Premiere Pro. This lesson though, I want to just clarify the panning left to right for an individual clip. And if you have audio that's just coming out of one speaker, how you fix that. And that's with the fill right 
or fill left effect. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another tutorial.